the most effective form of apprenticeship to be an entrepreneur is failure. So the sixth strategy of an ideal apprenticeship is to undergo an apprentice in failure. It is just like working on a machine. When a device malfunctions, we should not take anything personally or grow despondent. Instead, it is a blessing in disguise because it shows us the inherent flaws and the means to improvement. We just have to keep tinkering until we get it right. The same thing also applies with our first entrepreneurial venture. Mistakes and failures are the means of education because they help us to see our own inadequacies. When we come to see our own inadequacies, it is like a feedback. The mistakes and failures are going to give us the right feedback because it is hard to find people uh, give us the right feedback because most of the times people are political in their praises and their criticisms. So it is very helpful to as an entrepreneur to apprentice in failure because the failure will permit us to see the flaws. And it will also help us to learn what our audience or clients really want. The failures and mistakes help us to find out what works. And when we get it right, it will give us the absolute clarity on how things work. So in this way, we are the moment we execute an idea as an entrepreneur, we'll have several ideas. But the moment we're going to execute an idea, we will come to know what is how does it affect the public so in this way mistakes and failure form the means of education know that and understand this there are two kinds of failures the there's one which comes because of never trying we'll never try because either we are scared we are afraid to do it or because we are finding or because we are waiting for the right and the perfect time this kind of uh, procrastination is definitely very destructive. This kind of timidity of approach is very destructive. And hence, uh, we should be careful of getting into this kind of failure. But there's the other kind of failure which comes by because of a bold and adventurous spirit. Uh, because of a bold and venturesome spirit, this kind of um, failure helps us to find out what are our inadequacies. It helps us to find out what we lack and hence it also shows us what are the improvements that need to be done. So the moment we work on making these improvements, finally we get the absolute clarity on how to do the things right. So the, it's very important to never get uh, distracted or disturbed because what happens is the we may fall it is definitely very painful but this kind of failure definitely uh, the fall which this kind of failure brings is outweighed by what we learn the way it is going to toughen our spirit and the way it is going to show us with absolute clarity how things must be done getting things right at the first time itself uh, we feel that we have a kind of golden touch. But the moment we encounter the inevitable failure, what happens is we become confused and uh, demoralized immediately. And uh, so, and we also stop questioning the matter of luck because uh, we feel that we have a golden touch. So the best way to apprentice an on, as an entrepreneur is to immediately execute our ideas so that we we get the chance to uh, see what, what is not working. So we get to know what works and what does not work. We get the right feedback. We come to know the scope of improvement and how, what our clients or you know, the public needs, how it is affecting the needs of the public. What are the improvements that need to be uh, internalized or how we need, there's a lot of scope of improvement. And when we bring those necessary changes, we would have got the recipe for doing the things the right way we would have caught the pulse and then 
we, when we perform in this way, we are eventually going to succeed. So the, it's very important to apprentice ourselves in failure so that we know how to handle when failure comes. This is how we leverage failure. Failure is, see, there is always failure and success are two coins on the same side. You know that failure is trying to signal us that there's something which is the approach is wrong. So please change the approach. And the moment we change the approach and bring the necessary improvements, we are most likely to be successful. So get yourself an apprenticeship in failure.